than all my Venus is Matilda and or Estes. So yeah. that's how textbook and that's how meaningful this draft has become for both teams. Again, Blacklist up against the wall, currently not on the board just yet. Let's get into game three. Management of the early to mid game here is crucial for Echo because of the two main pieces that they have in oh. the Eve and the Beatrix. So after taking a bit of damage or a lot of damage there from Edward. This is dangerous. Oh yeah. Okay, Yue was gonna try to put some pressure up there, but you know, they already got the uh, ward, so Sanford's gonna back off. Yeah, but even though he goes back, uh, because of when he completed the recall animation, as the Minion 08 responding, he'll be able to get back in time without that big of a problem, without Edward getting anything actually on the shields. But this rotation of my Blacklist is smart. Wise, You're going out first there, but Yaoi responds, oh, not Yaoi, Kaltizi responds in turn two closer up top. So about a minute until the turtle comes out, and yeah, checking in for the first minute of this game, Blacklist reverts to the non-double XP link start. So we've seen both kinds of the Uber strat in Season 11 come through, and Echo had an answer for both. Exactly. Now, still slow and steady for both. Gonna be watching out. Ooh, yeah. I like what Wise did there. That was a smart use of the dashes that he had. Oh, oh he might win. get punished here. He's not gonna be able to get away from this one. Oh. Wise will go down. First blood in the hands of Carl TZ. 15 seconds away from the first turtle of the game. So a little advantage already starting for Echo. Good news, Wise is gonna make it back for the turtle take. Bad news, you don't want your jungler dying this early. That was uncharacteristic of Wise uh, for that to happen. Oh. But here comes Dang. Edward. Oh, they might be able to contest. Edward gonna come in, does have that level four. Oh, Use the final slash, but also still gonna be fighting for the turtle. Sanji dropping the real world manipulation. Here comes Sanford. They're gonna go Whoa! in, Carl TZ able to secure it. There's the way of the dragon. Why is gonna be cut off here? Sanford popping the beats here. No one gonna fall, turtle secure for Echo. Wow, I really thought Blacklist w were gonna take that clean. But Echo decided to stick and fight. And Sanji's real world manipulation was crucial there as well. And of course, the timing of the entry of Sanford. The Santan duo came in big in that crucial first turtle. That's what makes the Santan duo so dangerous. The fact that it's an XP laner and a mid laner that's so in sync, that's so yeah. mechanically gifted, it just shrinks the opponent's window of opportunity. The mechanics and the game IQ of these two. And because of the pressure and control of the map, oh! Yaoi gonna kick! Yaoi gonna get the kick off. He isn't gonna be able to follow up though, just yet. Gets stopped by Wise. Oh! There you go, Circle League gonna come down. Yaoi chunked down. Still okay. Now Benny Cutie forcing the flicker out. Carl Teasy comes through with the heavy spin. Beep! Sanji will capitalize on the kill. And now it's Wise in UA. And also, Owl making his way. They're going to back off. This is exactly how Echo wants it. They've been playing the same way since game one, into game two, into game three. Quick, hard, fast, and messy. To add injury to injury, as that entire sequence was happening, Owl was just solo killed by Benny Cutie. Before the lane. whole sequence. Yeah. Before the whole sequence, actually. And this is, again, just Echo continuing their best qualities in game one and game number two. And Blacklist just trying to readjust an answer to it. Echo right now still in the flow and in the zone. Blacklist, what else could they do here to actually turn the ties, a counter punish into a failed Yaoi attempt probably. But right now, with the lineup and the positioning of Sanji and the timing of entry of Carl TZ, oh Lord. Echo are making sure they have those insurance plans. Oh, why is going to be forced out from his orange buff. Oh he might no. still be able to get it, but look at that. Sanford going to hold him, forced back to the base, going to lose his buff. Meanwhile... Turtle now up here, second one of the game. UA now getting a position. Oh my Venus holding down the front. The damage oh. is there. The stun comes through. They get the flicker out from Yaoi. So he at least does not have that available. Echo still going back and forth. Edward now in Wise uh -oh. here. They also get the heavy spin out from Carl TZ. This could be a take for the turtle. Final slash gonna come through. Sanji oh, has the flicker. Oh, Here comes Sanford dancing on the queen. She will fall. Still wise in position here. Oh. Carl TZ does it again. And now they force Blacklist International back here. Man. Appraiser's Wrath gonna come down, but he gets Ooh. kicked to the team, and Benny Cutie gets the kill. Deja vu. That's a replay but with more this time around from that initial sequence in the first hurdle. Paint this image in your head, folks. 
a killer whale, an orca in the seas, ridden by a goat. Bah, bah. Carl Teasy again winning a retribution duel against Wise. And again, the factor of the Sanford late entry coming in big. And the response of Echo Ben Cutie timing up that snipe with the kick of Yowie. Whoever will try to engage into turtle fights the way Carl Tizzi does here, I give you fair warning. Not everybody can do the same thing, especially yeah. if you don't have the same sync as Carl Tizzi does with the rest of Echo. Yeah, the, that, and even in that fight, he didn't have the heavy spin because he had to use it early, right? Yeah. So the fact that he's actually able to still accomplish that is insane and speaks volumes for exactly how much skill Carl TZ has here. So right now, it's Black International, familiar territory from the previous two games, working against this Echo oh. Express. Yaoi was looking for an angle, but they're gonna focus on the tier one. Carl oh. TZ comes in with the heavy spin. Meanwhile, on the backside, Sanford will push him back too. No one's gonna fall though. A fight for a resource here oh. could ensue. Oh. Yaoi gets the Jeet Do up. Now Sanford once again gonna force back Wise from his buff. Still might have to go for it. Can't get it. Oh, our buff says Carl TZ. Man, Echo, their layering of abilities is brilliant right now. And Yaoi, he, it's like he knows one of the conditions of Blacklist is all right. Counter punish a failed Yaoi attempt. Uh, Yaoi attempt. <laughs> Jeet Kune Do yep. pick off attempt. We get it. It's what it is. Yeah. Everybody understands. Yeah. Um, and Yaoi held on to it, as you pointed out there, Naisu. The discipline on Yaoi to not pull the trigger there. Oh. Yeah, still, once again, there's the trigger. Why is going to be the one to get kicked? Sanford heading for UA. Carl TZ secures another turtle. Why is going to fall here? Oh, my goodness, on the run. Oh. Can't get away from Sanji. Two down. Looking oh. for a third. Here comes Carl once again. Sanji and Benny Kitty making their way. Owls in trouble. Oh! Now you way. The storm comes through. First the king and the queen, and then the rest oh. of the cavalry. Edward. Legend. Agent Zero. One versus multiple. Oh. Still one hit away. Bob and Weaver oh. can't get away. Sanford gets the kill. Try as he did. Edward will fall to four. And Echo. 7.3k and counting gold lead. Not even nine minutes in this game. It's 10 to 1. Everything Blacklist want to do to gain control, to turn it around, just keeps getting stopped over and over again by Echo. Their layering of entries, abilities, oh. and timing. Yaoi with a kick! Yaoi yeah, gonna get the way of the dragon once again off. The follow-up damage is gonna be there. They unleash Carl oh. Teasy finds the lockdown on Edward. The damage comes through. Benny Cutie with another kill. Gentlemen, is this just me or is the Echo Express getting faster and faster throughout the series? 7K, almost 8K gold lead now. Just about eight minutes. And just approaching, eight minutes and 30 seconds in. The funny thing is, that was a miscalculation by Benny Cutie's Bennett's Rage, because it bare, it did <laughs> not hit Wise at all. It actually friendly fired himself, but of course, no friendly fire in MLBB. <laughs> but it's, it's just Carl Teasy entering perfectly again with that heavy spin. That's just how much damage Echo's presenting. He miffed, but they got it anyways. Yahweh once again finding out here, but no follow-up to follow. This time, That's he risky. will get punished. Blacklist International finding a mistake. They're still gonna go. Oh, oh my oh. Venus comes through with a circling eagle. Sanji gonna Ow. be in trouble. Ow, here comes Sanford chasing him down. They pay him back, but it's oh. two down. Heavy spin, finding two. Ah. Oh my Venus down, Edward to follow. You can't stop the storm. Double sandwich play into a two for three trade. Started out bad. They gave up the Playmaker, but Echo comes out with more on the way out. This isn't just the Echo Express now inside the train. If you look at one of the train carriages, there's an Echo Buffet. The sandwiches that they've been dishing out to Blacklist International throughout this series. The late entries again. Benny Cutie making the most out of his dashes. He did not use need to use Flickr in that scenario when we thought Blacklist found the perfect way to capitalize on an Echo mistake. Oh, Renmar, 
Nice suit. What's about to happen oh, again? Oh, they're going to try to cut him off here. Turret, a couple hits away. They find the lockdown on Edward. He's got to flicker around. Can they survive this? Sanford <gasps> goes in with a vengeance. The follow through with Yowie. Wise is in trouble. Oh! Triple kill for Benny Cutie again. The guy is massive. The Echo Express. As you put it, in one carriage has a buffet, in another, a full ecosystem. It's like snow piecer in here, fam. In the Philippines, you only got two seasons, dry and wet. Benny Cutie the Storm, he's wet right now. This is a wet performance, eight, zero, and six. This is just an absolute dismantling of Blacklist International. A Blacklist that looks so dominant in the playoffs. Echo, what are they on? Where were these orcas in the early days of the playoffs? Did it take their longtime rival Blast International to unlock this level of gameplay? Oh no! Oh, they're still gonna be going. Carl Tz has to heavy spin on the defense. He will get shut down by Owl. Still, Lord gonna be up here. Echo trying to think twice. They will be fended off. Blacklist International deals with the base siege. Despite the 10k gold lead, Blacks International defended amazingly. Ooh, oh my oh! god! Oh! You can't dodge that, I guess! You can't defend that way if your force is down like that. Where did that come from? There's a sniper in the building. What in the heck? The Void Crystal from the Eve. Right at the tip, Sanji was like, all right, Benny, I'll set you up. The burn, ooh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, Lord, he's wet and he's hot. There's a whole lot. <laughs> Ouch. You catch a fever that way. That's how you get sick. Yep. Fun fact, for the people coming here for M5, got to avoid that. But now, Receive Blacklist can avoid getting set up by Echo yet again. Edward, though, we got to commend his final slash. Another snipe coming in from Benny. But those are little windows that Echo still, even with this crazy of a lead, cannot afford to give. You have to be careful. That was a fantastic final slash by Edward. We're about 30 seconds away from a Luminous Lord. So again, the same situation as in games in this series prior. Not much for Blacklist. Yeah, they're getting kills, but not a single turret. Nice to look, just that one tier, one turret up top. But it's, it's still standing, it still yeah, counts. It's technically still up, right? I know it's a one hit away, but as of right now, Blacklist doesn't have any objectives really for their favor, right? Now they're dealing with almost a 12K Whoa. gold lead. And just these kind of uh, check shots coming out from Benny Cutie are enough to deal with here for Blacklist International. They're probably just gonna have to give up this Lord as well yeah. and hope for a defense of a lifetime. Sanford clearing the minion wave like he did, even checking just in case. The minion waves up top, pushing there for Echo, definitely a free Lord. And now, Blacklist will have to hope that they have enough firepower that they can layer their abilities well enough to punish what will be, most likely, a very aggressive entry here by Echo. Okay, so good news. Blacklist has amazing Highland defense. They're yes. rocking that carry. They're rocking that Farsa. If they need to, you know, bob and weave inside their own base, they have the Matilda. Amazing final slash on Edward, the potential for the taunt. But that's best case scenario. I'm not so sure Echo's just gonna allow all those layerings to come in at the right time because they're such great spoilers. They can play at their tempo. Again, Yahweh on the show. That alone has to be a threat. We posed the question earlier, the possibility of Yawi going back on one of the signature hero, signature heroes. The Echo M4 skin that I'm pretty sure we'll be getting. But now with the siege, what can Blacklist do? Here they go. Yahweh's going to decide to go in. Finds a way of the dragon. Oh, my Venus going to fall. Carl TZ on the backside plus Sanford forcing him back. Oh. Benny Cutie going to flicker oh. in. It's not enough for Blacklist. Another triple comes through. And now Echo finds him at match point. The Orcas threaten. Match point. Three and zero in a best of seven. I said it again from Jakarta to here. Black has to pull something out right here, right now. It has to be at this moment. You do not want to be in this scenario. Backs against the wall, against the team known for taking it to their opponents when they sense weakness, when they sense vulnerability.